Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem is to convert a 1D array into a 2D array. So let us go with the problem statement first. It states that you are given a zero indexed, a uh, one dimensional integer array as you can see here. Okay, and you have to convert that into a two dimensional M cross N matrix. Okay, now how will you convert that? Let's take a look into that. You can actually see here that this is the complete array that you have 1D array. Now you are given the dimension in which you want to form the matrix into. So you have to form the matrix into M cross M. M rows and N columns. So it means that two rows and, and two columns. Okay, so you have to convert that. So the very first thing that you have to understand in the whole problem is that if you have to convert this 1D into this matrix, the number of elements in the first 1D array should be equal to the number of elements which you want to convert into the matrix. So you have to first ensure that. Now how many elements are there in this matrix? M cross N. So the length of this array, let's say it is capital N. So capital N should be equal to M into N. That's the first condition that you have to understand. The next thing you have to understand is that how will you like insert these elements from the array into the matrix. So after ensuring that the elements are like able to move, you will create a new matrix of M cross N. And then you can just make a pointer pointing towards the first element of this array. And you will do a row wise traversal over this matrix. How the row wise traversal means that first this element, this element. So every element in the first row, then every element in the next row and so on. And for every element, you will just take the elements from this pointer because you have to insert this in this row wise manner only. So first element comes from here. Second element is the next element. Third element comes from here. Fourth element is this element. So you just do a row wise traver traversal over this matrix. And for every element that you want to insert at every position, you will take the help of this pointer that is iterating over this array and keep on inserting that. Pretty much simple. That's the overall logic that you have to use. So let us move down to the code part to understand it more clearly. What we have done is that we have to first check the first condition that the number of elements in the array should be equal to the number of elements that we want to insert in the matrix. So that's the first condition. If they are not equal, then return an empty vector that the answer is false that I cannot create such matrix. Okay. The other condition is that if it is possible, create a new matrix that is of M cross N. And then what you will do, you will make a pointer pointed towards the first element that is zeroth index on this array that is used like that is pointed towards this x variable. Now you will do a row wise traversal that is two nested for loops over this matrix that you have created. And for every position that is answer of ij, every ij is calculated by whatever element you are here. So the first element that is x, you will get this first position. So x equals 0 will be taken at the first position of this matrix. Then you will increment your x to the next value that is this. And the next value in the row-wise traversal is this. So you will insert here. The next element in the row-wise traversal is this and the x is this. And you will insert here and here. Okay, that's the overall idea that you have to use here. x is incremented at each step of this iteration as well. So that's the overall idea and when you have done with all of this, you have to return the overall new matrix. So that's the overall idea and the logic for this particular problem as well. The overall time complexity turns out to be O of N into M. Why? Because we are doing a for loop to insert all the elements. That's it. That's the overall idea for solving out this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in the next coding and bye.